wireless in a coffee shop, do you really want it? You see, sure enough, when we go into the wireless, to a coffee shop, we need to be able to connect to the wireless. And so we have to look around and we have to see if we can find the SSID. And then there's a password. It's on a, a chalkboard or a bit of wood. Or you have to ask somebody or maybe it's printed on the receipt. Um, and then we need to do better than that because obviously once you get the passcode and once you've got the SSID, it's certainly possible to intercept the traffic and to start stealing people's data, which sounds pretty fine as far as it goes. But the real problem here is that it's not actually the wireless. And it's not the problem of the wireless for being insecure, in my opinion. It's actually the problem is the carriers. Why is it that we don't just use our carrier networks? If you've got a smartphone and you're whipping it out to try and connect to the, the coffee shop network, then something's broken. In short, the carrier is charging you too much money or not providing you a good enough service. The real problem here isn't bad wireless in the coffee shop, it's bad telco networks. What All we need from a telco network is enough bandwidth, maybe as much as just stream some video for those people who like to watch Netflix. We need it to be low latency or low jitter enough to have a, a telephone call on Skype or FaceTime or Snapchat or whatever your favourite medium for that is. And we need to have um, no concerns about bandwidth. We don't want to be worried that every five minutes we're running out of bandwidth in the system. And that's really it. And uh, by and large, it depends on where you are and which geography and what sort of thing. If you don't have those issues, then you stop connecting to the Wi-Fi. And I found this when I recently got a hold of an unlimited plan, which has unlimited data. And I can stream Netflix if I choose, and I can do all those things. And I stopped bothering about connecting to wireless networks. And I didn't worry about things like security and um, you know whether I could have a better captive portal. So when the IGF sends out emails saying, you know, we've got great new standards, WPA3, which just supports features like opportunistic wireless encryption, which is going to simplify this ad hoc networking, I'm thinking we're not, what we're doing is not fixing the real root, root problem here. Not that the IGF can fix what carriers do, they can improve what's broken, but the reality is they're not fixing the underlying issue here, which is that telcos suck. I'm Greg Farrow. You can follow me on my personal blog at ethereumone.com, or you can find me on Packet Pushes, and if you like this video, it would help. Because I'm still playing with this to see if it works.